Has someone taken advantage of you or wronged you in some way? Do you get a bubbling feeling in your gut or heat rising in your face? Anger is one of the natural responses to hurt and depending on how you deal with your emotions, these negative emotions can stay with you for a long time. Prolonged anger can actually be dangerous since it doesn't only affect your mental health, but can also cause physical symptoms like back aches, migraines, and fatigue. When you're extremely furious at someone who's done you wrong, do you secretly wish bad things upon them and hope that they suffer more than you did? You may even think about revenge. However, when we have thoughts like this, it always backfires. Instead of making the person who made us angry suffer, we're actually tormenting ourselves with these negative thoughts. As the saying goes, holding onto anger is like drinking poison and expecting others to die. This is why it's so important to understand our emotions, like anger, where it comes from, the trigger behind it, and how to cope with it in a healthy manner, instead of repressing it or acting upon it impulsively. So, why do we get angry? Anger is actually linked to fear. For instance, you may be angry at someone who had violated your trust or has taken advantage of you. Anger is the reaction and the fear of getting hurt. It's important to have emotions like fear and anger because they let you know when someone has crossed your boundaries or has hurt you emotionally. It's a signal to help you prevent the situation from happening again in the future. However, when you suppress or deal with it in an unhealthy way, these negative feelings can grow more intense. This is also known as repressed anger. So where does repressed anger come from? Why is it so hard to listen to your emotions such as anger and acknowledge it? Do you subconsciously keep telling yourself that you shouldn't feel this way? Well, repressed anger and poor anger management may be learned in childhood. Your parents have a large impact on you as a child, especially in shaping your values, beliefs, and behaviors. This is especially true in how you learn to deal with your emotions. As a child, you may have expressed your anger through tantrums, which your parents may have dealt with by punishing you. From this, you are taught to associate your negative emotions, such as anger, with being bad and unlovable. Therefore, it conditioned you to ignore or to unhealthily express any bad emotions that you felt. Beliefs such as anger is a bad emotion or nobody likes angry people may continue on to adulthood. This causes you to have unhealthy habits where you don't express your emotions in a healthy manner. As a human being, it's natural for you to desire to be loved and accepted. When you end up developing beliefs that associate being angry with being bad, unlovable, and undesirable, it's not a surprise that you'll start to suppress, avoid, or invalidate these negative emotions. But the truth is, your feelings and emotions are trying to tell you something. Feeling anger is a way for your subconscious to protect yourself from pain and hurt. It's your body's way of telling you how you're really feeling about a certain situation. It's a reflection of your mental state of health. And this is why losing touch with your emotions can be harmful. If you're out of touch with these emotions, you might have a hard time identifying whether someone has crossed your boundaries. This might also be one of the reasons why you always find yourself dealing with people who love taking advantage of you longer than you should. Did you find this video insightful? How do you express your emotions? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. All the references used are also added in the description box below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.